come up with a new battery tray. Uh, this is what is left of the Pinto tray. It's kind of rusted into two pieces. So <clears throat> I want to create one that utilizes the same holes. This one actually shares a hole with the engine mount. Uh, so I picked up some materials here. So angle iron square, so angle iron stocks. A stock of that three quarter by an eighth. Um, so I plan on making the tray out of four sides of the angle. Maybe kind of like this plastic junk that I had in there for a while. Uh, the angle would make up the sides. But we'll have more of a open bottom. Maybe, maybe I'll take some of this flat bar and run it across, um, across the bottom. But the flat bar is going to make up these tabs that come down. So the flat or the angle will be about up here. It looks like I don't know. I may have to add some kind of strengthening there, but we'll see. This is to get me by. It's not to be a sweet ass design or anything. So uh, needs to. Um, be fast. The battery needs to be fastened down with three ace threaded rods, so these couplers will be welded to the angle bracket that's on each side. It'll be on this side too. And then I just noticed that there's not enough room to really put anything through here. Huh. So I'm going to have to create a strap over the top a hole on each side and something that will bridge these caps. Alright, so I got my angle pieces all cut and uh, got my chamfers in there. So, gotta get the welder all set up and Tack this up, probably tack it up, flip it over, and clamp it down again to weld the back side. Um, you can't quite see it, but I have chamfers on the other side of that seam. So, <clears throat> dimensions are, what is it, ten and a quarter long way to the inside, and seven inches the short way which will leave a quarter inch on either side of the battery for some slop. <clears throat> all right, I got the tray all welded up. I got the trace rod couplers welded on. It's hard to weld outside in the wind, ungalvanized, and I'm not a welder. <clears throat> but it turned out so I got it kind of sitting where I think it's gonna have to be get close on these corners uh, but I'm gonna have to put a strap down to here so I think I got it lined up where I can just surface weld the strap down to that this one I'll just I'll do the same and it may just need a washer behind that bracket. Back here it's going to be a little tougher I think. I don't know. I might surface weld on the other side of this and curve a strap up to these holes. That will be a little more difficult. So let me get some tape measure and figure out how long I need to make my frame mount straps. Okay, so I may have to rethink what I'm doing here. I 
I went and put the motor mount onto the engine. And I measured kind of up and over where the manifold um, sticks out. So from the hole to the passenger side of the car is this distance to the edge of the manifold. So, and that, let's see, that was like four inches back from um, <clears throat> from here. And from there it only gets wider. <clears throat> so as you can see, I think we have to, oh God, I can't get in. I think we have to actually cut into this fender a little bit. Um, so I think it's going to actually hit a little bit on here and I went and measured the battery. <clears throat> I got about nine and a half inches to the level here and it needs all of that without shorting out on the hood. Um, I suppose if you put the battery terminals on this side it wouldn't be so bad. We might have to shelf this project until we get the engine in here because we may have to cut that fender. Um, I know people have said that the engine is shifted over that way and they like it centered, which that would help, I guess. Um, but now is not the time for me to be designing new motor mounts. So, I don't know. Might see what it would look like here. Let's see if I can pull this off without wrecking too much stuff. so bad. Radiator would probably be an issue, but I think, I think the way I'm going to tilt that, it would clear. Alright, I'm going to set this up and see how it looks. Okay. So we get away from the exhaust manifold that way, but the alternator will be like hidden right here. So that's not going to work. Um, yeah. So the plastic fender is attached here. I'm wondering if I could cut a hole here, put half the battery through the wall. Tempting. <clears throat> All right, well, here's the thought. We can get a pointer here. So, down here is like the frame rail, pseudo frame rail. And you got a pinch weld seam above here. If you look on the other side, we got the bumper mount. And this kind of guide for the bumper. So we don't want to go into that, but we can come down right up to that. Which I thought I measured about I guess it's closer to six and a half above that edge. It's a six and a half. half inch above this pinch weld. So we cut into that. Put this edge maybe flush to that. Cut this out. Probably move the battery box 
right up to that edge. Cut this out up to, I don't know, an inch and a half from the top. So that there's enough room to get a hand and a wrench in there to take the, the bolt off, of, or the nut off of this threaded rod for the back of the battery. So, you might have to go in further to uh, get past the alternator. I don't know. We won't do any cutting until the engine is sitting in here after we take it out, but get a little bit of measuring. So I guess, I guess what's next is get that engine ready to put in here.